Now, last night we brought you the first of a two-night series on the mint nations. That's Mexico, Indonesia, Nigeria, and, of course, Turkey. Some say they are the world's new economic powerhouses. Each has promise, but also pitfalls that could jeopardize their economic potential. Tonight, Tony Waterman looks at Nigeria and Turkey. In recent years, Nigeria has been the darling of frontier investors. Yields are attractive, the currency steady, and thanks in part to oil, it's the only mint nation running a current account surplus. But the key to its economic potential is demographics. The population is booming, and the average age, just 18. The working age share of the population is going to be growing over time. Other things being equal, that means more consumption. That's not to downplay, however, the structural reforms that are still needed for Nigeria to be able to realize its growth potential. Some reform has already started. The country is opening itself to greater foreign investment and has eased restrictions on withdrawing money from the country. But corruption remains a problem. If you look at how much oil has been produced since the 1960s, Nigeria should be in a much more powerful position than it is today. Even today, there's very little to show in terms of the oil savings that have been accumulated over time. Nigerian entrepreneur Teofik Babayiju points to other challenges. Access to fund. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a major challenge uh, for young entrepreneurs and um, also um, access to um, good infrastructure like power, which has remained a challenge. That brings us to Turkey. Population, 74 million. It's the smallest and the only non-commodity producer of the lot. It, too, has a young population. The average age, 29. Its strategic location between Europe and Asia has helped to nearly quadruple GDP from 230 billion U.S. dollars in 2002 to about 800 billion today. Over the past 10 years, yes, we've had steady economic growth, but really we've had a series of crises where each time Turkey was somehow able to pull itself really back from the brink. It's again a critical time for Turkey. Its large current account deficit makes it among the most vulnerable to U.S. tapering. And political instability is once again rocking the nation. Investors right now are becoming increasingly concerned by the political turmoil in the country. I'm a big believer in Turkey. In the short term, there's a lot of concerns. Concerns Turkey will have to overcome to unlock its potential growth.